Good morning, students. Today we come to the end and the concluding part of the lesson climate. Today we are going to learn the distribution of rainfall in India. But before we discuss this, let us understand what are the factors which are responsible for the distribution of rainfall. There are major three factors which help in the distribution of rainfall. They are the relief, that is the topography of the land, direction of the moisture laden winds, that is which way the moisture laden winds are coming from, the path of cyclonic depression determined by the pressure gradient. Pressure gradient refers to the movement of winds from higher pressure to a lower pressure region. Now the Indian subcontinent can be divided into four major rainfall regions. Areas which receive very heavy rainfall, those which receive moderate rainfall, there are large areas which receive very minimal or scanty amount of rainfall and the desert and semi-desert regions which are deprived of rainfall and they receive very little rainfall to the tune of less than 50 centimeters or you can say that these areas further to the west they receive less than 20 centimeters of rainfall. Now let us see how the rainfall is distributed in India. Areas which get very heavy rainfall, they include the central part of Jammu and Kashmir, the Assam region where the moisture laden southwest monsoon from the Bay of Bengal bring much of the moisture and drop it in the high Himalayas and the Assam hills. The windward slopes of the Garo, Khasi and Jentia range receive a whopping 1250 centimeters of rain. The narrow coastal areas of West Bengal also receive very high amount of rainfall. Similarly, the narrow belt of the coastal area of Andhra Pradesh along with Andaman and Nicobar Islands receive very heavy rainfall from the southwest monsoon. The western ghats, where the moisture laden winds are made to force to be to rise very high, leading to condensation and very heavy rainfall occur in the windward side of the western ghats. The middle Ganga valley in Bihar, Jharkhand, Bengal and Orissa receive about 100 to 200 centimeters of rainfall. The leeward side of the Shillong Plateau also receive 
about 100 to 200 centimeters of rainfall. Eastern Maharashtra and the leeward side of the Western Ghats also receive about 100 to 200 centimeters of rainfall. Parts of Kashmir receive scanty rainfall to the tune of about 60 to 100. The Upper Ganga Valley, Eastern Rajasthan, parts of Punjab and Haryana also receive very scanty rainfall. The monsoon duration in these areas is very short as these areas are the last to receive the rainfall and first to see the retreat. Large parts of the Deccan Plateau also receive very little rainfall. Western Rajasthan, parts of central Gujarat and southern Punjab receive about 40 to 60 centimeters of rainfall. The areas which receive about 20 to 40 centimeters include the northern parts of Kashmir, Parts of southern Punjab, Haryana, western Rajasthan, Thar and the Kutch Peninsula. Large parts of the Deccan Plateau which lie on the leeward side of the Sayadris or the western Ghats also receive very little rainfall. Areas which lie to the western corner of Rajasthan and is a part of the Thar Desert receive very scanty rainfall and they have recorded to be receiving a rainfall of less than 20 centimeters. So students, I hope you all have understood how the monsoon plays a very important role in the lives of the people of India. Years when we have very less rainfall or very erratic monsoon are the areas when our GDP has also found to become very low. So, I hope you have understood the entire chapter right from the beginning to the end where we have discussed the distribution of rainfall in the entire country. So, that is what we have enough time for today. Thank you.